Hey guys, Rob's Random Stuff here. We're going to do our next week of lacrosse drills for beginners. Rob right here is just doing some warm-ups, going from left to right, right to left. Very important, stress that in all of our episodes. Today, what do you think, Robert? What kind of drills do you want to do? Some dodging? Yeah. What else? Cradling drills. Okay. One handed cradling? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, uh, let's get all that set up. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you go any further. And we'll be back in just a second. All right, guys, we're back. We discussed what kind of drills we're going to do. Robert, just give him a quick breakdown of what we're going to do today. All right. So today we're probably going to do some um, practice cradling, um, dodging and um shooting all right all right well let's uh no pauses we'll try to do this in one take so let's get started robert all right, don't so forget like and subscribe sorry i didn't mean to interrupt you there buddy <laughs> all right it's all you all right so the first thing i'm gonna do is um teach you how to do some dodging so the first dodge and probably the easiest dodge to do is um a face dodge and that works um so basically all you do with that one is um you can keep your stick in any hand that you want. So just um you plant your um foot that your stick is in and then you bring it across your face and then you come back around. Alright. So let's do that one more time in slow-mo. Robert, just make sure you you uh speak up, okay? Alright. Alright, great. So you plant your foot yep. here. Okay. Bring it across your face. Okay. And then you come back. Alright, that looks good. Alright, so let's you want to please back up just a bit so we get your full body in a little bit more so we get our full body in the video all right so uh, go ahead just give us a little example of full speed doing that good 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 all right come on back to one more time and go all right good good all right anything else you'd like to show the folks at home oh uh, yeah so the next dodge that we're gonna do is um a split dodge Good. And this one's basically um, the same thing, but you switch um, hands. So. All right. So if you could back up just a bit, I want to make sure we're in, we're in total angle, maybe all the way up to the first uh, rung on the net. All right. So, all right. Good. And just make sure you speak up. All right. So um, how you do a split dodge is um, same thing. Keep your stick in whatever hand you want, and then you could, and then you go like this. You bring it down your opposite side you bring it up and then you cradle on the other hand all right so if you want to uh, I'm gonna back up a bit here all right Robert go good switch so let's pretend we're running towards the net and that's gonna be your opponent okay we get a little side angle so right. dodge the uh, dodge the net and go Oh, it's okay. Go, go, go. All right, good. Very good. See how Robert switches hands there? Extremely important. All right. So, next one. Go. All right, so the next dodge that we're going to do is a roll dodge. Okay. And how that one works is um, you keep your stick in whatever hand you want, and then you plant your foot, and then you start switching your hands you kind of roll around like that and then you come back around all right that's good i like that all right so uh, let's do that in full speed robert all right good all right so you can do that a little bit quicker come back over here good back up maybe 10 steps so we can make sure you're still in the camera angle all right very nice move all right good all right, what's our next one you want to do? Uh, so that's all the dodges. Okay. So the next thing that we're going to do is um, practice rebounding and then getting a quick recovery from shooting. Okay, and our, for our last thing, what are we going to do today? Uh, practice um, cradling with two hands and one hand. Okay. All right, let's uh, proceed here, Robert. 
All right, so how this drill works is, so you're gonna rebound, switch to your left hand, and shoot. Hey guys, just uh, chiming in here. Don't forget, like and subscribe this video. It's just informational for the young kids out there. Robert's trying to uh, just give them some basic lessons. He's been doing it five years now. So he still loves it. So hopefully your kids do too. Again, don't forget, like, subscribe. Robert, proceed. All right, so one more time in slow motion. So just throw it, switch to the left hand, and shoot. Good job. So now this is what it should look like at full speed. Ah. It's okay. Good job. Good motion. Maybe Robert just scooped it. Always hustling, even in the videos for practice. All right, so let's do. Uh, let's see how the uh, one-handed cradling looks, Robert. All right. So why would that benefit you as a player on offense? So like, um, if somebody's whacking at your bottom hand, you just switch to one hand and use your other hand like this to try to block him out. All right. So uh, why don't we just pretend that the maybe the net or the rebounder is a person and just make a uh, you know a circle around with one hand All right. very good you can see the benefit of that you can kind of hold your opponent off a bit and uh, come around the net it's always a good situation with the one hand and then regain both hands and take a shot uh, basically it works really good for running up the sidelines and coming around a corner or around the back of the net. So uh, I think that's going to conclude this week's clip. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back in a week or two. I'm going to try to show you some more advanced skills since everybody should be uh, at minimum halfway through their season at this point. Maybe a little further, but uh, everybody should have a grasp on what's going on with lacrosse and uh, Hopefully you enjoy this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Robert, thanks as always. Great job. And we'll see you on the next video. Don't forget, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching.